We are here, we're having this amazing family vacation and we're gonna show you show you all the different details of when you guys come down here and have experience. If you ever have a chance to come here to Alani, we wanna show you everything there is to see. Oh. This is the week we're giving away a $1,000 dream vacation. What? We are teaming up with Getaway Today and Disneyland Tour Guide on Instagram. This Sunday, February 14th, Valentine's Day, we're gonna be choosing a winner. You can even use your credit to come here to Ulani. What? Here's how you qualify for this. One, you have to be subscribed to our channel. You need to be following Getaway Today on Instagram and be following Disneyland Tour Guide on Instagram. If you want to get an extra entry though, this is what you got to do. Go to Getaway Today's Instagram and type in Provost Park Pass. If you want another entry, go to Disneyland Tour Guide and type in Provost Park Pass on their most recent photo. That'll get you extra entries for the giveaway. I hope you win a thousand dollar dream vacation. <laughs> The Lazy River. Alani's Lazy River is probably the laziest river I have ever been on. It meanders and crawls and just goes through the jungle and caves. It is so lazy. It's a perfect place to just have a lazy day. You can just float on tubes all day long, endlessly going around in a circle, just enjoying your day. I need help. I feel like I'm gonna tip over if I put my legs up. All right, I got it. I'm setting you down. I don't trust him. Oh, oh, you're on your own. Look out. Dangerous, yeah, dangerous one areas. Leg. One leg. You did it. You did it. There's, there's Miles and Nana. They're up there just cruising along. <laughs> ah, this is so nice. <laughs> what are you doing? This is the wildest ride in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> wildest ride in Hawaii. <laughs> What is the name of your boat? Two tubers. The two tutors. <laughs> no, two tubers. Oh, the two tubers. Right. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a whirlpool. I'm not moving. <laughs> yeah, there I'm we stuck go. In a this lazy river is amazing. It's got caves, sprinklers, like water fountains. It's fun. I'll show you everything. <laughs> This is where it shoots the water fountains at you. And I just missed it. It went right in Amanda's face. Look at all these like, little fountains that are shooting water. Oh, I almost got it right there. Now we're going to go through this little tunnel. Oh, look at, look at her toenails, guys. They're so cute. That little right there, it just shot water out and hit, hit Nana right in the face. <laughs> That's awesome. It's really warm here. It feels good though. The water feels amazing. You know how it is when you first get in water, at first it's cold and then you get used to it. That's what this feels like. This lazy river is awesome. You come down, it kind of does like a hairpin turn and then you go right into this cave. Look at this cave with these waterfalls. You don't want to get wet. You got to navigate it really well. Oh man, she's struggling. We'll just go we'll push it back over there. This is one of the most unique things about this lazy river is right here, there's a little one-way entrance. It is, you take, you ride down up on a tube, a water slide, see people climbing right up there, oh, boom. And dips you right out into the lazy river. I love this lazy river. This might be one of my favorite parts. I love this. It is so relaxing. This is the lazy river at night. It is so pretty. And here is the lodge. I just called it a lodge. Man, it's like, it's not a lodge, it's skiing. Lodge reminds me of skiing. Oh, that's the, that's the where you come, that's the main lobby, not a lodge. I apologize. The lazy river at night is so pretty. Look at that cavern. The water slides. There are two water slides at the Alani Resort. There's the tube slide and there's also the enclosed slide, which is in the pitch black. So fun. What makes the tube slide so amazing is it drops you right off into the lazy river. Well, there they go. All three of them are off to do the slide. You can do a tube person slide, but Miles wants to do his own tube down the slide, of course. I don't know if you saw that. Every once in a while, I'm waiting for them to come down for the slide. But every once in a while, this does like a little eruption of water. It's like <laughs> Backwards, of course. Boop. Yay! 
you hear her? <laughs> this Chris am I like a champion. I can hear you come down like Chris, Chris. What? It was really bad. Yeah. We figured this out. When somebody comes out, that's when the volcano erupts. So watch Nana come out, and then the uh, volcano is gonna erupt. Then we gotta find out. Miles says he had a bad experience. Dun dun dun. All right, so watch, watch Nana and the volcano erupt. Here comes Nana. Oh! No! We missed the volcano because Amanda, Amanda crashed and burned. So I got the lowdown on what happened. Miles went on that slide. And he said that around the first corner, he fell out of the slide, he went down, he's worried, he's very worried about it. But then he got done, he's like, now I wanna go do it again. So now he's going on the dark slide. This is a slide that's completely encased, it's like circular all the way around. Now he's gonna do the dark slide. So let's see what happens, how he likes that. have the best beach day right there at the Alani Resort. You can paddle board, you can snorkel, you can boogie board, you can lay out in the sun, you can build sand castles. It is the perfect beach. Beach day. You never know who's gonna come visit you on the beach. There's a seal right there. Just relax and chill. There he is. He's like flopping around a second. You need to stay far away from them. Respect the wildlife. So they put up little signs. This is a Hawaiian monk seal. Let him have some privacy and keep safe. And he keeps trying to get higher and higher on the, on the... He does. He keeps scooching his way up the beach. <laughs> the seal is not in any danger. It's actually just sunbathing. They like to lay out here on the beach. And because of that, they have gone through and they put up all these safety like rope and precautions so that nobody can get close to them and touch them. And the seal is just like chilling. Every once in a while, the water will get up and like touch his tail. And he'll like flop, 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 get a little higher in the sand because he's just trying to get some sun. So you guys, I'm, I don't maybe we shouldn't mention this. Did you know that Amanda used to work for one of Disney's competitors? <gasps> I'm not going to mention SeaWorld. Won't do it. I was an educational specialist. That's true. There are a lot of awesome animals in Hawaii. Sea turtles. We have the Hawaiian monk seal. You just want to make sure to give them their respect, their privacy, and their space. You never want to touch them. You never want to approach them. This is their home. Just like, you know, you don't want people coming into your home, touching you. It's the same thing for these animals. We want to protect them. Dang it, I just missed the video. He literally just flop, flop, flop. You see the dirt track? He just was flopping and trying to get a little higher. The water touches tail. I did not like it. He's like, I'm getting up higher. Oh, now he's looking around, trying to decide what he's going to do. How would that be? Just to lay down, get some sun on the beach. Oh, all day, just enjoying it. You know that seals like to swim in salt water because if they swim in, swim in uh, pepper water, it makes them sneeze. <laughs> I just can't get over this. Watching this, it makes me think of Finding Dory when the seals are on the rocks. <laughs> like, like, off, 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 off. like Gerald, Gerald. So the marine biologists came by and I talked to them and they said that the seal will stay on the beach anywhere from one hour to six hours just to get some sun. And then when they get tired of that, you know, flop back into the water. So they rope off this area to make sure that the seal is completely safe and has this, this area. And then uh, when he's tired of that, he's ready to go back in the water. He'll go right back in the water he wants to. Hey, doing? come on in. What are you doing? Come on, it's like, I'm done. What are you doing? Off in the deep end and coming. Miles is off. Man, it's like, I'm going back out. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's an amazing view, guys. An amazing view. My mother-in-law just heard the no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I don't know what, why. I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's Amanda, mama bear, little baby bear, another grandma bear out there. Miles is out there. He wants to try to stand up on the boogie board, which is not going to work. 
but he keeps trying. Treats. Oh my gosh, treats. They have some of the best treats I've ever had in my life. Ooh. A little special treat is they have Dole Whip, they have white chocolate frozen pineapples with coconut, ice cream, Mickey shaved ice. Your sweet tooth is gonna be in little Disney foodie heaven. Oh, it's so good. It's frozen pineapple in the middle, and it's frozen. It's frozen solid, but it's super cooling and refreshing, and then it's completely covered in white chocolate and rolled in toasted coconut. And it's like surprisingly addicting. I'm like, oh, I'll have one bite. No, you like keep eating it. It's one of those things that you just can't stop eating. It's gonna get a little shaky. Miles wants to talk to the camera. <laughs> Guys, I'm having so much fun at this fun resort. Where are you and I going right now? To get popcorn. Get some popcorn! Look guys, we found popcorn buckets. Ah. We're gonna get a popcorn bucket. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Popcorn bucket, popcorn bucket. As if this place couldn't get any better. And all of a sudden they're throwing popcorn I mean, at you. Seriously, like this place is perfect. All they need is popcorn. <laughs> All right, so something fun to do while you're in Alani is get, of course, the pineapple dole I'm, I'm, whip. I'm, 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 I'm. So Miles like, I want some. I'm so happy they're here. Oh. Yeah, and of course they also have the Mickey bar. Oh, righto. Righto. You guys know ifs, ands, or buts about it. That treat looks amazing. Babe, your dole whip's melting. I know. Look at it. It's like liquid. I got it 10 seconds ago. Oh, sweet D, she's got a problem over here. He didn't do that. <laughs> oh, he did. Oh, he did. I can't let it melt. Okay. <laughs> it is, um, Darla got pineapple watermelon. Mm -hmm. Look at this delicious treat that you can get here. Oh, wow. It's a shaved Mickey ice. Yes. All right, Dr. T, what flavors did you get? Cherry. Cherry? Orange and grape. Orange, you glad you got orange? Orange, I am. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so good. And they put like eagleized condensed milk on top of it, which is just that sticky sweet. I just want you guys to be aware that I got a brand new hat. I forgot my little hat. So I got this one and I'm worried that I make it look too good. That's what Amanda told me. She's like, it's too sexy. Yeah, it looks too good. <laughs> I just brain freeze so bad. I don't know. I thought I was like, I could do this one bite. Massive brain freeze. Oh gosh, it's so bad. My eyes are watering. We did have a little bit of a tragedy, guys. I don't want to talk about it too much. If you look right down there, we lost a Mickey ear. We don't talk about it though. We don't <laughs> talk about it. Uh, Bob, how is it? Good, uh, still like. I, you still have both of your Mickey ears. We we lost one, but you you seem to know what you're doing. You know what you're doing, one Sweet ear. D. One. She in literally just attacked that ear. In, in one she ear and out the other. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it. Sweet D wasn't sold. She's like, I don't know about the shaved ice, but in the end. Yes, because this is more creamy. Yeah, it's that, excellent. That condensed milk they put on top it's, of it is it. so good. Be careful. Be careful. All the juice at the bottom. Mm. Mm. Oh no. Oh. That's good. Is that good? Yeah, that is very good. Snorkeling with the fish. This has to be one of my very favorite activities that we did. We got to snorkel with the fish. And I was a little worried about Miles, but he handled it like a champ. He's only five, but he was out there snorkeling with the fish. We gotta go right out there. We gotta look the fish. They swam underneath us. It was so fun. We are at Rainbow Reef, and we're gonna go snorkel with the fish. <laughs> this is awesome. If you don't want to snorkel, you just want to see the fish, you come right here, they have a cool observation area where you come in and you can see the fish, no problem at all. Or you can go up and snorkel. Plus they have, they tell you all the different fish here so you see what they are so you can find which fish that you're looking for. Like say, hey, I want to find a yellow tank. 
she looks like yellow fish out there. The thing about the scuba fish, I mean, a snorkel fish, is it's, you can get an all day pass. It starts at 10 in the morning and goes to three in the afternoon. Or if you want, you can get an all vacation pass. So the entire stay that you're here, if you're gonna be here for five or six days or four days or two days and you wanna go multiple times, you can get a multiple day pass to go uh, swim with the fish. It's, it was an amazing experience. Probably one of my favorite things we've done so far. If snorkeling the fish is a, not your speed, but you want your kids to have an amazing experience with fish, you can just feed the fish. This is a great activity for little ones. They get a little cup of food, they get to sprinkle it out and feed the fish. We are now gonna do the fish feeding experience here. This is awesome, they are so cute. So they give you a little container of food and that's all the food that you get. So Miles is throwing it in, it's feeding the fish. So a couple at a time. So There's over a thousand fish in this like aquarium, I guess, and over 55 different species. Look at these fish. They're huge. They're huge. Can we catch the fish? With this. You feed the fish. Throw some in, so you see them. Feed, feed, feed. They're going crazy. We've got Gil from Finding Nemo right there. Gil from Finding Nemo. Oh, he's out. Thanks, guys. He just like, left. I was like, I'm out. He's like, I do not want to be on camera right now, guys. You want to come down here really early because it fills up fast. The class is filled fast and very limited to maybe like two or three families at most. And they have times like 9 30, 12 30, 1 30, 2 30. And they give you a little cup of food and you get to feed the fish. It's an additional cost, but it is an amazing experience, particularly for little ones who might want to see fish up close. If you want to come see at Alani, we have the best prices for you so you can save money and come to this tropical paradise. All you need to do is click the link below. It's through Getaway Today. They have some of the best prices on Disney vacations we have ever seen, and they're how we book our Disney trip. So click the link below to book your Alani vacation or just give them a call. It's 1-855-GETAWAY and say that you're friends with Provost Park Pass and they will take care of you. I want to see you here. Let us know if you're coming. I want to come with you. A romantic dinner. You and your sweetheart get to have a romantic dinner and listen to Hawaiian music played nightly by local bands right there on the island. It is so fun and romantic. All right, I have to talk about what's become known as the great tank top controversy of 2022. I bought a brand new tank top. <laughs> I've never worn, I've never owned a tank top in my life, not once, right? So I come out, I come beep bopping out with my brand new tank top. Sweet D looks at me and she's like, nice tank top. And then she started to laugh. <laughs> and then Amanda goes walking to the corner and she sees me and she's like, nice tank top, hun. And she starts to laugh. So now I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to be, I don't know. I just wasn't able to see you. Orange and loud. They have tank tops. Oh, crazy. I couldn't get used to it. <laughs> I felt like it was, I think, it, actually we did receive a complaint when we were wearing it. It was too sexy. <laughs> They're like, sun's out, gun's out. <laughs> Do you have any commentary on the tank top debacle? It's a great tank top incident of 2022. Uh -huh. I got an email that said, um, we're, we regret to inform you that there are no tank tops allowed for for guys at the luau we're going to. We're going to be going to luau. I can't wear my tank top in luau, so guys. So they saw that he was wearing his tank top and they wanted to just put a stop to that before he arrived and, you know, embarrass himself at the I'm luau showing the tank top. That's it. I'm going to show the tank top off. <laughs> Looks good. This is the tank top that I got. I got the tank top on special. Uh, when I say special, I mean clearance. It's only two dollars. 
Now I wonder, maybe that's why it's two dollars. <laughs> so here's the thing, I think it's a kind of like a win-win situation. Nana and Bampa are gonna take Miles out to dinner, and that's what they wanna do. And then I get to take Amanda out to dinner, which is what I want to do. So I feel like it's kind of a win-win situation. Don't you think so? Perfect. Oh, the big reveal came out. You look so good. Two handsome men. Come here. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> there we go. And now they're going to go off to dinner. And we, Amanda and I are going to go off and have like a little, like a dinner as well. You guys, this is such a special treat for Amanda and I. We get to go on a date night. We're gonna go down and eat here at the restaurant, right down here at Alani. Can I show you guys what it's like? You look so pretty. <gasps> Thank you. And here we are at our table. This, this little light, it changes colors. Right over there, oh, they have God. Hawaiian music. The Hawaiian music starts at six and goes, I think, till nine at night. And so they're gonna be coming out. It's on a break right now. And this is just right outside. I mean, right there is the, the that's the Lazy River we went on today. And right up there, that is the, like our hotel that we're staying at. This is just a little fun date night for us. We just ordered our food and Amanda's gonna tell you about what we ordered. This is this place is fun. This is really fun. It's heavily like appetizer based and sushi and we'll show you what we ordered when we get it. And we are it's called the Olelo room. And, and they recommend getting here early for the entertainment, especially on the weekends. They say sometimes it will book up, it will fill up. We didn't make a reservation. We're here, this is a Tuesday, and we walked up, they put our name on the list, and they called us within like 20 minutes. Yeah, and you see, they're getting ready to start performing again. This looks so good. These are the bang bang fries. Oh, one of my favorite like meals or dinners to eat really is like appetizers and dessert. That's so true. Like I, I love to have a bunch of different appetizers, a bunch of different light offerings, and then like finish it strong with dessert. Sometimes a lot of super heavy food just makes me feel like lethargic and gross. This is great. Thank you. We barely started and the food just came. Oh my gosh. This is a plant-based sushi roll. So there's no meat on it or fish. It uh, has avocado, lettuce, tomato, onions, and the nori, the seaweed. And then I had, this is passion fruit juice, mint, soda water, kid friendly. A little lime. I love mint. Is, is this gonna remind me of being at Disneyland? Mint julep with a little Hawaiian twist. Oh, very good. Two thumbs up on the drink. I love sushi. Like, I love it. I got what is called a, a rainbow roll. It's got lots of different offerings of uh, fish on it. I only have one problem with sushi. Is it's the one food that I eat that I my 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 brain never tells me I'm full. I can just eat it forever. It's like eating candy. It's like pop 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 pop. Uh, a wasabi Mickey. It's, uh, if you never had it, it's very, very, very spicy. It's like, oh, but it's little touches like that yeah. that make you remember that you are at a Disney resort. The little magical touches. Yeah. Look at the chopsticks. There is a Mickey on the chopsticks. Okay, so this part here, it comes off, right? It does on purpose. You sit down on the table, and then you, when you're done eating, you put your sticks on it, and it keeps them clean so they're not touching the table. This. I've never tried plant-based sushi before, ever. Mm. It's perfect. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. We just destroyed our food. It's gone. <laughs> And I was like, are we done? And Amanda's like, what? Oh. No. Is it like it's the appetizers? You get a taste of everything. Yeah. And dessert. Finish it off with a little dessert. This is a piece of art. This is a toffee brownie with a caramel ice cream, if I remember correctly. And uh, they have some raspberries. Dusted with coconut. Dusted with coconut. Coconut. We're in Hawaii. I love it. Wait, is this the yellow chocolate? Oh, it's good. 
I have to be honest, I was a little worried when we ordered the brownie because usually when you get brownies, they're dry and they're kind of cakey. This is divine. Oh my gosh. It is so warm and gooey and moist. Oh my gosh. They nailed it. Ugh, you shouldn't say that one word though. Moist. It's, it's a super moist hydrated. brownie. That was so good, that brownie. We're still eating it, but I was like, is she overhyping it? And I, it's it's warm, and it's soft, and it's gooey. I was not overhyping it. No, And no. it doesn't look like it would be that, like, amazing. When we, when we got it, I'm like, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful presentation. But the brownie itself just looked like a normal brownie. This is not a normal brownie. No, it's not a normal brownie. You can see, look at that. It's like the center. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I would come back just for this. It's like a molten lava cake. This is unreal. 100% would recommend. <laughs> 10 out of 10? Would recommend. Oh, it's so good. But she really did it. I'm like, she's like, you want the last bite? And I look at it and she's like, had it on her spoon. <laughs> um, oh, I want it. I almost had to roll this out. It's so good. We roll ate so out much. Like a sushi roll. And I was worried when I got there. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to order enough food, babe. We might have to order more food. And we walk out. I'm like, I ordered too much food. Ukulele lessons. Oh, it's so cool. It's free and you learn to play the ukulele in as little as 20 minutes. By the end of the class, you'll be playing a full song. Here we are, guys. We got Bampa, Dr. T, we got Sweet D, Miles and Amanda, and myself. And we are here to do the ukulele lesson. And there's the ukulele right up there waiting for us. This is something that is, you just sign up. It's a free class, but you have to sign up and it fills up fast. So first thing in the morning, you come down here and sign up for your class. Now for about two or three times a day. This is beautiful. our fingers because <laughs> they are for the lines. My eyes, you get your fingers. Oh, yours are perfect. No, oh, you got it great. I, got, I must have pushed them way too hard. Dad, look. Look at mine. Oh, look at yours. You're so great. Wasn't that fun? That was so fun. That was so fun. Did you enjoy that was it? really fun. I love that. Luau. Woo! This luau has everything. It's got storytelling. It's got fire. It's got dancing. It's got hula. Oh, and the food is to die for. The luau is just getting started. And this is great because it's on property. You don't have to go anywhere else. It's right here. There's the buildings. There's, right now showing us how to make a flower lay. Amanda, 
is gonna make a flower bracelet. Doing great. On the table, they give you a little box or with flowers and needle. Well, it's not even a needle, it's like a, a and some thread to make these bracelets. So pretty. It's beautiful. Amanda made this for me. <laughs> and we are starting our first course. You ready? Yes. Some tuna, salad, little, is that macaroni and cheese? And I'm diving right in. I'm the only one at the table, by the way. The only one here at the table that was gonna eat the raw tuna. <laughs> I love it. I tied this on for a minute. She's like, it's too... <laughs> Super loose. Well, I figured because we're gonna be eating so much, you need a room. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got the second course now. Ready, sweetheart? Let's take a look what we got here. Oh, oh beautiful. Oh, look at all that. Some rice and poi. Look how pretty. Like taro. 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 Vegetables. Oh, look at that. What's this? This is that brownie, macadamia nut brownie. Macadamia nut brownie. Here's, here's the best part, guys. Let me tell you the best part is being married to a vegetarian. I get, all, I get all her meat. <laughs> <laughs> Extra meat. Wait, which side does my flowers go on? If I'm married. Oh, are you switching it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna switch it over. No, I, I don't know. I don't know, I have to find out. Major mistake. A terrible mistake. This I'm... is not a macadamia nut brownie. That is fish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat fish. <laughs> so, Glad cri we... crisis averted. Uh, Sweet D ate that before. I'm and... glad I, I knew before I stuck a big chunk of it in my mouth. <laughs> What do we just find out? I think this side means that I'm single. She's single. <laughs> we just got our desserts. Ooh, the pink one's good. That's guava. This one's good. The guava's good. Miles is already hitting it all. The brownie. Is that the, your, the brownie's your favorite? <laughs> so this is a coconut. This is like a coconut. It's good. I can't remember what it's called. A coconut something. But it, it's really good. I like them all. But my favorite is probably the guava. The guava cake. Miles' favorite is the macadamia nut brownie. And Amanda's favorite? I don't know. Maybe the brownie too? No, the guava cake. I don't know. The coconut one. <laughs> you want some of my brownie? I want up in the middle. by the pool. At the end of the day, you can relax by the pool and listen to storytellers by the pool. Every night they come out and tell different stories about Hawaiian culture. In particular, this is, is storytellers so where they see. tell you stories. Let me draw your attention to that mural on the Makai side, the ocean side of the Hawaiian night tower over there. Because in that mural, you'll notice a very handsome young man with a very handsome hair bun. Now friends, that is a depiction of Maui. And Maui is not just somebody from some movie. Maui is actually an ancestor all throughout the Pacific. Indeed, stories are told of Maui the hero 
pretty much everywhere in Polynesia, pretty much everywhere in the Polynesian Islands, they claim him for the role. They'll tell you he's from there. They call him Maui Te'iti'i, they'll tell you stories of him and his seven brothers. Character breakfast! You can meet the characters out of the character breakfast right there at the resort. One thing that you have to do when you're staying here is, of course, the character breakfast. Can we give a reading a good morning to Mickey? Oh, you got Mickey shirt on. Mom. Oh, oh, oh. Mom and Mom, please wait for me real quick some more. Wait and tell Mickey where you guys are from. Oh, Utah. Oh, nice dress, Mom. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you, Pluto. You guys are the best. Thank you, guys. Come on down. Look who we got. We got Goofy and Max. Oh, my gosh. Oh, careful, Goofy. Careful. Max, I have to say this. You're my wife's very favorite. Very favorite. Oh, you're so shy. You're my favorite. The character breakfast starts with a basket of pastries and fresh fruit. Okay, this looks good. There's the macadamia nut pancakes. And then you got the macadamia nut syrup, butter. And man, I got sausage. Amanda got potatoes. Potatoes. We all got the macadamia nut. <laughs> Every one of us got it, except for Miles. Miles ordered uh, like a little omelet. Way to go, way to be different. Oh, by the way, you can use the app. The app is amazing. Be sure to download the app before you get there, the Ulani app. You can check it for characters and find out which characters are doing their photo ops. Scavenger hunt. This is a very fun activity. You check out an iPad, then you hunt around on a scavenger hunt looking for various points. When you get there, it tells you a story and then these points interact. They do different things. Little ones will love this. So will adults. As you can see, Miles and Bampa are doing a scavenger hunt for the Menahui. And they're walking around with this, with this iPad. Miles is looking for, he's looking for a large lava rock. There it is! All right, so you get right up there, and what does it say? So when you get there, it tells you to do certain things. They're like, they'll play a video, or they'll interact with you. And this is a free activity for children of all ages, even adults. You check it out, and it lasts for an hour, and you're gonna go around the whole resort to do a total scavenger hunt. Papa is a Hawaiian handmade cloth. It's made by pounding the part of the moke, the paper moke. Kapo making is long and hard work, but it comes out beautiful and you can make it into unreal kind of clothing. Oh, hear him. Oh, look. And of course, probably the most special thing you can do here is just spending time with your family. Thank you.